Hi friends, I'm Colonel Failure, and you're back once again with the Electro Sports Baseball League and Bulldozer Power, where today we're going to be taking on the Colonel Space Agency, oh, yeah, oh, 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 and so on. Uh, right, okay, well, let's get straight into the action here. Uh, now, in the lineup, Steve Murray still showing a few signs of fatigue there, but we'll keep him in the lineup, just because. Yeah, no, we're going to. Um, uh, the Veronica Hammock is, a uh, mood's not brilliant. And, uh, and I don't know whether or not to... All right, actually, yep, no, that's a decision made. Uh, she's out. Failure's in. There we go. Yeah, we'll, we'll put a captain back in the team. That seems to make sense to me. Uh, our pitcher today is going to be uh, Quebec Spire. Well, well, we'll see how he gets on. Um, but uh, my my substitution finger is is always ready. Um, let's get to the ball game. Well, the Colonel Space Agency team are currently riding high on a 6-1 and one record. Uh, we're on 5-2, and two, so we're not doing too badly, but I have upped the difficulty again by another three points, taking us to 43. I know, it's a big number. We'll see how we get on. So this is going to be an important one to prove whether or not we have got the mustard to, uh, to put on our bum before adding the hot dog. I don't know where I was going with that. Anyway, let's, let's play the game. Play, play the game. All right, so leading off for the uh, Space Agency is uh, Olivia Chukakar, uh, batting 500 so far this year. All right, okay, all right, no, that's, that's fine. Right, we'll start with uh, with one of these. Let's see what Quebec's got to play with. He's got plenty of pitches in his uh, in his arsenal of pitches. Um, it's just a question of, you know, what he can do with them. A strike two, lovely. Uh, all right, let's, uh, no, no, let's, let's see if she falls for this. She might, you never know. Didn't. Come on, Zoltan. No, he hasn't got the legs for that. That's a nice hit. Oh, yeah, that's gone somewhere difficult. And uh, Zoltan's going to return it, but that's two bases given up off the opening batter. Yeah, that's fine. They are monster hitters, rather like ourselves. Uh, so hopefully, for every piece of damage they do, we can do some too. Uh, well, I mean, you, you never know. Uh, let's do this uh, first inning with the same, uh, the same plan vis-a-vis -vis pitch selection. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is how to stop people being caught out and so forth. That's gone to Cindy. Well, we'll take the easy out there. I'm not entirely sure she would have got that one to third in time, but uh, uh, KSA now in scoring position. Here's Dick Frisby. Um, well, we've done, you know, we've we've got to get this done. Uh, same pitches, same pitches. And we'll see when they actually learn. That's going to be caught out, but they, they are going to get a run from it. Yeah, I don't think we can get... No, we can't get that there in time. Never mind. Mori there dropping the ball. That's all helpful as well. Uh, right, OK, that brings up Valerie Hammock, uh, Veronica's sister. And, well, I mean, you know, say what you like about the uh, Hammock sisters. No, really, say, well, say whatever you like. I mean, uh, they play baseball, they're all quite tall, and they've all got quite small feet. Last I heard. Anyway, here comes Zoltan. He's uh, he's been okay at uh, at lead off, but will that <laughs> move? Anything could happen. He's uh, he's a he's a liability as often as he is not a liability. In fact, he's possibly more often a liability than he is not a liability. Uh, we're facing Madame Pompadour as the pitcher in this one. That one was going to foul. All right. Well, you've you've soaked up the requisite number of pitches there, Zoltan. So it's okay. It's fine, as long as you make them tire themselves out more than the average, it's all good. Here's Furious Sponge Bath. Hoping for big things from Furious at some point this season. He's got the numbers to make it work. That was a bit on the low side. He should, should probably have left that one alone. He's out. All right, okay. Well, it's Papal Event Horizon. Uh, the people's choice, Papal Event Horizon. I mean, if you ignore Kojak, uh, it is the, uh, the people's choice. And uh, he's uh, he's having a good season so far, uh, but we're obviously going to need a strong performance from him this week if uh, if we're going to get past uh, one of the league leaders. Yeah, I know, I know. It's it's so disappointing when you realise that you're actually hopeless at playing baseball. Nice shades there from the catcher. Uh, here is Kojak, uh, runner now on first for us. Uh, Kojak, you know. Just say what do you like about Kojak. What? You've used this line of uh, discussion already. All right. Don't say anything about Kojak. She's far too good to have anything said about her. 
Well, that's ball three. Uh, I'm not sure what Madame Pompadour's got in mind here, but that's a second walk in as many batters. And that brings up Failure, who's batting 700 this season, but he has been out for several weeks following a horrendous injury uh, caused by an opponent. What are you playing at? He's obviously keen to get underway early. Swings at the first pitch, gets everyone out. What a clown. All right, well, ball has power retired, and it's Ingrid Matrix who will be up next. Uh, three home runs for her this year. She is uh, she is a relatively prolific batter, um, but uh, her at-bat is not the best. And uh, that's that's been demonstrated there quite readily. Uh, Furious chucking it back to first, and that's out. Here's Eunice Ultramarines. Um, she's, uh, she's, well, slightly more reliable at bat, but uh, far few runs batted in. Okay, strike one. Okay, no, stick with the plan. Stick with the... Well, okay, I mean, I'm not sure if you'd call that the plan or not, but uh, but there it is. Have one of those. Right, on the inside, Zoltan's going looking for it. And has it. Oh, over the shoulder. Trey Casual. Uh, here's Brooke Liability, the left fielder. This is... Uh, well, I mean, she hasn't hit anything yet this year, so... I don't know that's be whether that's because uh, she hasn't been playing or uh, or that she just plays like that. But she's out. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Going into the bottom of the second inning. Bulldozer Power trailing by one. Cindy Vapid first up. Um, she has turned it around a little bit lately. Uh, and But uh, she's largely remaining in the team purely because of her fielding prowess. That was not a strike. Uh, that, however, was a classic vapid whiff at bat. I mean, it's not strictly speaking a whiff uh, if you actually make contact with the ball, but it amounts to the same thing. She doesn't get anything good out of it. Here's Steve Murray. Well, we're doing a fair bit of uh, oh, go on, have a go at the first pitch here, and that's, I mean, I suppose it's okay. Uh, Steve got on base there. It wasn't the biggest hit you're ever going to see, but here comes Bernie Crampons. Who, who has a tendency of being absolutely hopeless until he absolutely hammers one over the uh, over the wall. Uh, that that was that was your kind of pitch there, Bernie. But you left it. That's uh, ball one. That one's gone a bit wide. Let's strike two. Come on, Bernie. He's, he had a go for that. I think more out of desperation than anything else, and he's going to be out. It was possibly sailing a little on the high side, and uh, he didn't like sitting there with uh, uh, with a pair of strikes under his belt and not enough balls. Is Quebec by the pitcher? Well, very little expectation, but he somehow manages to do enough to get on base, or not, as the case may be. Flipping it, man! You ran that, you hit that to centre field, and you were still out. Ah, oh, dear. Oh well, it's okay. It's, uh, it's early doors yet, and we're only down by one. Now batting, Here's Beretta Triffids, the shortstop, and uh, well, she's uh, she's pointed to her head in the photo, and uh, I don't know what that's all about. Oi, Quebec, stop it! Face mask, mate. If you've got a bit of the sniffles, you know, the responsibility lies on us all. There you are. Right, okay, come on, get this one in there. That one's got a crampons, and uh, out number one. Well, neither, sees, uh, neither side so far able to really make a massive amount of headway, although saying that, of course, is, uh, is, means that I'm very likely to uh, to cough up something significant here. That one's got a furious hill. Oh, chuck it out. Yeah, that's it. That's all good. And we're round to the top of the order again. Olivia Chuckakan uh, managed to get a double first at bat. But, you know, we were warming up, so, I mean, what are you going to do? All right, let's uh, put that there. No, she left it. She clocked that that one was not not particularly accurate, which is a shame because not particularly accurate is uh, is something of a speciality for us. Oh, strike two. Yeah, yeah, you didn't like that much, did you? There, uh, Olivia, if that is your name. Right, let's put that one in there. Quebec's got it. Chucks to first. Side retired. All right, through to the bottom of the third now. Well, we're we're at we're back at the top of the order. Come on, Zoltan, you can you can do it or not. I mean, just hang in here and take a couple more pitches and then have a go. All right, don't then. Yeah, but that was a good pitch to take, so you know, you know you're fine. And uh, there you go, Zoltan gets on to first. He's furious. 
didn't do anything first time around, but that's not much of a surprise. Nobody really did much first time around. Ah, Bulwa now on a little on the uh, on the high side. Come on, trying to catch Zoltan out there, but Zoltan is not to be caught out. No, Zoltan is a warrior beast of a baseball player. That's not a bad hit there from Furious. Oh, nice. Maybe wasn't the wisest uh, pitch to go for, but he's he's accomplished the goal. He's uh, he's pulled out the dream. Here's uh, his paper. Didn't have to do anything first time because he got a walk. Ah, that's ball one. Well, he's he's used to those now. Yeah, that's ball two. Too high. That one's oh oh dear oh well uh, people there getting two people people's choice papal event horizon uh, getting two people out now we've got a runner in scoring position and Kojak's at bat uh, it doesn't get much more optimistic than this but every batter can have an off day especially Kojak Mister On on whom so much responsibility lies uh, to perform brilliantly. Yep. 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 No. Not to be. Not to be. Close, but uh, no. Well, we got a couple of hits off that. And, I mean, it looks like we could score at any point. Uh, we just haven't yet. Here's Lemon Kevin, uh, the uh, catcher. And, uh, well, I mean, he's, he's the one with those shiny, shiny sunglasses. Um, in orange. Which is uh, uh, Trey's tasteful. Oh, we had to go for that. Oh, yeah, the, Quebec could have had it. But, uh, but couldn't quite hold on to it. I mean, that's not completely unreasonable given the speed at which uh, the uh, ball is likely to be uh, heading out from his glove bat into the pitching zone area. Um, I've maybe lost the thread of what I'm talking about here. Let's carry on pitching the football. And, uh, and off we trot. All right, see how you get on with that. Oh, no, he's hit it. Well, yes, he has. Okay, well, no out so far here at the top of the four, and uh, and we've managed to get runners first and second. This is this is less than ideal. Valerie Hammock uh, up next. Uh, disappointingly for her, uh, she's uh, she's not actually getting a face off against her sister, so there won't be any bragging rights in the Hammock household this evening. There you go. Oh, Zoltan, you utter clown! Zoltan drops it. I can't entirely blame him for that. I was lining up the throwback before he'd caught it. And that's loaded up the bases. Oh, dear. Yeah, and that could be a, f a fatal error. Um, and, uh, so far, Bulldozer Power not uh, demonstrating massive capability uh, when it comes to, uh, comes to scoring. We got that one, though. Yeah, they're going to get a run off it. Yeah, I know. Okay. All right. Two runs now uh, for KSA as uh, Eunice Ultramines is up for her second at bat. Uh, I might want to try and pronounce every single syllable in her name in the future. Ah, I might. Strike one. Whoa, that was that was tasty and outside that one. As oh, she'll be she'll be livid. Uh, let's strike two. And then uh, oh, something about something about there. Yeah, about there. Yep. Yeah, yeah, you clown. Ha 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 ha! I had a feeling you'd go for that. Um, right, good. Here's Brooke Liability. Nothing uh, for her all season. But uh, as we mentioned last time, and we'll give her the benefit of the doubt, we don't know how many at-bats she's actually had this season. Bowan, Not not very good at all. Uh, let's try it again. There you go. Let's strike one. We'll go back to uh, the Curvalicious here. And that one's got a Cindy. We'll go for the second. No. Oh, Error in judgment. Could have just taken the easy out there, you know. And that would be the side retired. No, no, think ahead. Always know your counts. And in this case, it's two. All right. And it's not a, it's not a massive amount of flipping out. You put some steam on that one. Uh, it's not a massive amount to remember. Two is the count. All right. Yeah, well, I know. There you go. Kojak to first. Easy peasy. Good. All right, well, that could have been a lot worse than it actually was. Uh, but even so, uh, there is a, uh, a hole emerging gradually into which bulldozer power are falling. And I wonder if it's because uh, their helmets are starting to get a little bit dirty. Uh, anyway, that's ball one. Ulysses failure to centre field. Well, he marks his return with a, with a base hit. 
I mean, he didn't mark it that way the first time around. No, he marked it by getting out. Uh, back to Cindy once again. Uh, nothing for her first time, but, uh, you know, we live in hope. That's good stuff. Cindy Vapid there with a base hit. Ah, nice. Excellent. Right. Runners, one and two, including the fastest runner on the team. Really? You're thinking of doing that, are you? Yep, I'm thinking of doing that. What's he thinking of doing, everybody? He's, he's thinking of trying to... What's this? Oh, it was a pitch out because you're expecting failure to make a run for it. Okay, all right. Yeah, I can I can understand that. That's ball two, strike one now. Steve Morrie at the plates. There's ball three. Come on, Steve. Stay firm. Or don't. No, it's no good. No, 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 no. Steve there caught out uh, in uh, right field. That wasn't it. Okay. Here's Bernie Crampons. Well, if there were a time to shine... This would be a good one for Bernie, but he does like his solo home run efforts rather than anything else. That one's high, uh, not got the distance. Everybody go back. There we go. Yeah. Uh, that was the point at which you should have run failure. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Well, it's Spire. Yeah, I, sh I should probably sub him to try and get the points here, but we'll keep him in and see what happens, because his pitching is going pretty well. And he's going to get caught there, but we'll go for it anyway. Yeah, but there's no harm in going for it if you think you're out. Well, more hits, but no runs. The hits are just coming in, in the wrong place there, and uh, we've got a couple of decisions that have been made now that are clearly uh, going to be, uh, be scrutinised after the game as, uh, well, that's what cost you the game. Twice. In fact, you've done a couple of things now that have cost you the game. Was one of them not scoring any runs? Yeah. Yeah, that was that was definitely among the reasons that you didn't win. I'd say it was the main reason, if I'm honest. Anyway, that's, uh, that looks pretty good for Zoltan. He actually caught that one, but, you know, that's because I wasn't interfering with him while I was trying to catch it. Uh, back round two, Olivia. And, uh, well, and she's, uh, she's one or two today. Hasn't done us any major damage. Although, actually, she did get the uh, the run in uh, in the first inning. That's true. She did. Nope, that one's gone foul. Come on there, Papal. No, not Papal. Quebec. Whoa, well, that was that was an exciting one. And that's, uh, that's another one of those uh, fumble on two strike run to first uh, efforts there. Right. Okay, yeah, I, I vaguely understand the principles behind that rule now. Yeah, vaguely. I presumably you can do it any time, right? It doesn't have to be on, uh, on uh, two, uh, two strike count. You can make a run for first any time you feel like it. It's just that if I'm just playing uh, throw and catch between me and uh, Steve Morrie, then the likelihood that, uh, that you make it to first is pretty flipping slim. All right, well, two and two is the count on this one. Oh, Quebec. For pity's sake, if you'd got that, we could have got two outs. Never mind. We got, we got one out, and that's a good start. Here's Dick Frisbee. Okay, all right. And uh, they've got a runner on second at the moment, so, uh, so we're going to want to make uh, some kind of an impact here. And the impact I'd say that we're likely to want to make is one where he's out. Papal's there to get it. And that's an out. Okay. Good. Right. Solid. Good. Down by three. Top of the order. Zoltan Zoltan leading the way. You know, that's that sounds pretty impressive, doesn't it? Does that sound like it might be, you know, the kind of thing to inspire the team? Ball two. 50th pitch uh, just dealt there by the Madame Pompadour. And Zoltan's out. But, I mean, that's it's not actually that unusual. Uh, Bulldozer Power are, uh, are struggling to make any headway so far today. Uh, ball two. Furious sponge bath at the plate. As a go. He might have enough if he's got a turn of speed. He doesn't. So he hasn't. And that's, and that's another out. Here's uh, Papal Event Horizon now. And uh, with two outs, anything we can take from this inning would be very welcome. Ball two. Can't Papal. Stand your ground, or don't. All right, he's not standing his ground. He's, he's going for a trot up to first. 
Come on, gotta score. Need to score here. Got to or anywhere. Well, it's it's Kojak Mister on. She's had a quiet day so far with with just a walk to her name. She's gone for that straight away and is out. Oh dear me. Okay, well, five innings down. Bulldozers down by three, and Valerie Hammer cuts a bat. Uh, Valerie hasn't actually uh, hasn't actually made contact yet today, so she's overdue, which means that this will probably be it. Bernie Crampons. <sighs> Tasty dive. Didn't get it done, though. All right, Zoltan throws it back. Not well. No, not at all well, but uh, throws it back well enough. Now batting the center fielder, number 67. His Ingrid Matrix. Uh, the, uh, the home run hitting, but uh, low RBI achieving. Uh, no, no, not even RBIs there. Uh, at bat. Uh, she's got that bat lower than 200, but that's three home runs this year. And I, it's it's fairly inexplicable, but obviously, she uh, she goes for it all on every swing, and uh, and that makes all the difference. All right, let's, uh, let's, let's do one of those and see if she'll fall for it. She didn't. Let's do another one of those and see if she falls for it. But this will aim it better. It's gone to Cindy. Should have thrown third, but that's okay. Should have thrown third. Always take out the scorer if you've got the opportunity to do so. Uh, Eunice Ultramarines, right fielder, up next. Uh, standing there uh, in the service of the Emperor. And that one has gone to Cindy. We've got to throw for home. Oh, just, 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 no. Cindy just doesn't have that amount of zip on her throws. Well, giving up the run there is, is one thing, but uh, failing to get the out is something else. Let's put that one in the big long list of things that you can consider to have contributed towards your loss today. I don't think that's unreasonable. No, it's not. Cindy Vapid. All right. Okay. All right. Now we're now that was that was a little bit more competent. Is uh, Beretta Triffitt? And uh, well, it's uh, it's two outs now. Two outs is the count, and they've got a runner on first. Thank you, Steve. Ooh, and they've stolen second. So, two outs now, and they've got a runner on second. Steve with not an awful lot of pep on his throw there. Um, but, you know, he it doesn't, it doesn't have to have pep. He just has to get it there in time. Well, that would require some pep, surely. Not a good pitch, but good enough to get the side out. And that's what we needed. Well, coughing up another run. There. Here's Ulysses' failure. Maybe he can get us underway. It would be nice to get a run at some point. I mean, you know, I mean, I'm not asking for much. Just any kind of a run. Avoiding being shut out uh, would be desirable. Failure possibly could have made a, uh, a boost there for second, uh, but decided to stay put. Now is not the time to play Chansey. Now is the time to play, let's just try and score a run. That's ball number one, Cindy Vapid at bat. That's ball number two, these sinky curveball effort things. That's not bad, that's not bad. And we're on the way. Two base hit from Cindy Vapid, excellent work. Oh, I thought that was the, I thought that was the send them home button. Oh, it wasn't. Okay, all right. Didn't manage to, uh, I, failure was going to go for it there, but I, I couldn't find a button in time. All right. I mean, you can blame me, it's it's fine. Steve Murray! No, not Steve Murray. No. Okay, well, failures in scoring position. Uh, Murray at bat, and uh, Vapid on second. And that'll do it, that'll get us on the scoreboard. All right, that's one. Okay, deficit, cut back to three once again. Here's Bernie Crampons. And uh, well, then he's, he's had nothing for us so far today. Runners, first, third. Bernie Crampons, bat. Okay. Stage is set. Ball two. Crampons, Bernie. Pops it up. Okay, well done, Crampons, Bernie. Yeah, no, no, that's, that's a non-starter, that one. Yeah, could have made some kind of sacrifice play on that one, where, uh, where we told everybody to run. They wouldn't have been able to get them both. Yeah, but you, what they should have done is, is thrown to home. Yeah, I know. Uh, anyway, it's Quebec, and I haven't substituted him because I wasn't paying an adequate amount of attention. However, 
What a great hit from Quebec Spire, the pitcher. And that's another run in. A two base hit for the slowest moving player on the team, uh, bringing up Zoltan. Bulldozers now trailing by two. Well, we got a bit lucky with that, I think. Oh, ow! There we go, and that is the tying run. Furious getting on a first, and Bulldozer Power have come back from behind uh, to tie this one up here in the sixth inning. That's, a, that's, uh, it's, it's, it's the level of excitement that you want out of a sport. Papal there swinging for the fence, and it's away. Well, it was looking like a series of catastrophic errors of judgment. Uh, we're leading to a situation where Bulldozer Power are going to trail the entire game. And to be fair, up to this point they have. But not anymore. Bulldozer Power taking the lead for the first time. Ooh, and Kojak there almost taking out the pitcher. That would have been the icing on the cake that was sat on top of another cake that had a cherry on top that was then all subsequently iced. Uh, here's Ulysses failure. Two outs, remember. We've done most of the damage in this inning with uh, with the count at two, uh, two on the out button. That means something to someone. Uh, strike one, ball one. Oh, yeah, you should have gone for that, man. That was, that was your pitch. Here we go. Too low. Nope, it's not happening. Too low. Ulysses Fayer trying to catch uh, uh, Kojak there at first. Nothing doing. Too low. Full count now. Ulysses Fayer. Uh, what's it going to be? A slow one. Uh, that's going to be the side retired. Uh, but it's okay. It's okay. We, uh, we did everything we needed to there with a six-run inning. And uh, that's going to bring up uh, Dubious Wombat as the first at bat. The catcher. Replacement catch. She doesn't look uh, particularly excited to be here. One may say she looks a little nervous. Uh, Quebec is still hanging on in there for a bit of stamina. But uh, we're going to change him out immediately. You don't give up a two-base hit off the pitcher. It is just not done. Nope. Uh, you've had enough for today, son. Well done. You've done ever so well. But ultimately, you're rubbish. So uh, out you go. All right. Spire, Quebec, substitute. Uh, right, okay, well, we could use Jeff. No, I used Jeff last time. Bring on Disneyland. Now, pitching number 63. Uh, Disneyland, lovely job. Could have got a double play off that, but it didn't. It's okay, we don't mind, it's all right. All right, okay, just calm it down, make good decisions. All right, making some good decisions. And that one has gone to Bernie, who doesn't dive. Uh, in my defense, your honor, what? 
Um, uh, I was looking at the player with the wrong colour uniform. I'm kind of used to playing in grey. I see. So you thought Bernie was the runner. I thought the person running was Bernie. That's an entirely different thing. They have tied up the score now, you know. Yeah, I know. I know. Another. We're so error prone in today's game. It's uh, it's rather miraculous that the damage is not worse at this point. Yeah, I mean, you have one good inning. Yeah, I suppose so. Strike two. Come on, let's go. Disneyland, make it so. Disneyland does not make it so, but that one's gone deep enough that uh, Zoltan should get there in time. That's good. Chuck it back again. They might have a gut flip another bad throw uh, from uh, out in centre field. Here's Ingrid Matrix. Two outs now. Uh, runner on first. Disneyland needs to do a spot of clean-up. He gets out the flash with extra lemon and is mopping the floor. Good. Yes. Come on. You know that's a very UK-centric joke. It is. Yeah, see, again, I mean, you wouldn't have got to it anyway, but that's not the point. I had a suspicion that grey uniformed as an individual was uh, one of my own team members. They are wearing blue as well. It's hardly the point. Here's Eunice Ultramarines with a ton of pressure on her. Uh, well, I'm... They've got all of the go-ahead runs uh, kind of loaded up on uh, on bases at the moment. It's the top of the seventh inning, so, you know, time is not uh, not entirely friendly. It's gone to Cindy, who will not mess this up. Gets the out, and a bit of a save going on there. Well, going into the bottom of the seventh, score's now tied. Six to six, and here's Cindy Vapid. I doubt, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. Cindy has kind of found her role in the batting order. She's never going to be a number one batter for us, which is why we're not playing her at number one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Go easy. That's it. There you go. Cindy there with a good hit, and that will get her on base. Well, uh, we've got to get some runs here. Otherwise, you know, they'll get some runs and we'll lose the game. And Jerry Goals is being uh, substituted for Demarcus Rotoscope, who's going to come in and see what he can do. And, uh, uh, all right. Uh, Ultramarines is also leaving as uh, as Bingo Hazmat is coming on. Well, Bingo's only been out because he's been injured of late. Not entirely sure the cause of that. That was a very slow, weird moving ball. All right, we'll have a go at it. And uh, nope, no dice. Come on, Steve, you can do it. There you go, Steve can indeed do it, and uh, that'll be enough to get him on base. Hazmat there playing centre field. Hazmat didn't used to play centre field. No, he's a left fielder, but they're playing him in centre field. Oh, OK, I see. Uh, here's Bernie Crampons. Lots of pressure for Bernie. Hasn't hit anything yet today. Well, as long as he doesn't get everybody out. And he's not going to get everybody out. Bernie there, loading up the bases. Right on. Right on indeed. And here's Mark Disneyland. Do we, Yeah, we're going to leave him in. Because we've got no outs. All right. We've got, uh, we've got scoring position. Yeah, we have got scoring position. He's just going to get caught. It's fine. No, that's not it. That's not the button. I wonder if it's the face buttons then. Well, it doesn't really matter. Uh, here's Zoltan. Round to the top of the order again. He's only got one hit so far today, but it was uh, was a run batted in. And I believe that was the start of the runs being batted in moment that we've had. But Zoltan's so slow, he can't get to the base. <laughs> Everyone's out. Oh, nuts. Well, there's Brooke Liability, who's being substituted for Kink Providence. Uh, well, possibly not before time. And, uh, well, that was Bulldozer Power blowing a massive opportunity to get back into this game. Should we have substituted the pitcher? Yes. Yeah, yeah we should. Yeah, we should. We should have substituted the pitcher and got a hitter in instead. It would have given us another shot to try and make some runs off that. Oh, well. Well, you know, the audience at home do like it when it's a nail-biter. Yeah, but they're less, they're less thrilled about it when it's a nail-biter because you have missed chance after chance to actually just put the game away. Here's uh, for, former bulldozer Bingo Hazmat and, uh, with, his, with his trademark hair. Well, has he got an answer for his former team? Yeah, 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 he has. And that answer was, should have resigned me? Yeah, I know. But, you know, I'd, uh, we wanted the money. <coughs> Here's uh, Dubious, Dub Wombat, 
uh, coming uh, coming in off the bench today. Doesn't look uh, doesn't look too happy about playing baseball. Cindy, good catch. I mean, easy catch, but you know, all all catches now are good. Here's Chuck a Khan. Chuck a Khan, and. Uh, She did well in the first inning, but has uh, but has done nothing since that time. That's not a great pitch, Mark. Come on, come on. You're you're a maestro at throwing pitches that just are wonky. There you go. That's it. Wonky pitches are us. Where do you want that one? Let's put that one high and tight. Okay, that's a haircut though. Also, you missed. Yeah, I might have missed, but it doesn't matter. She swung at it, and it was you know it was good times. Ball three. Well, Disneyland, full count. So let's use the curve rather than the slider. That might be okay. Batter walked. No! No, I thought that was a strike see out see. Okay, all right. Runners now first, second, uh, two outs. Disneyland needing a defensive performance here in order to save our bacon. Strike one. Lemon Kevin, the catcher, is currently at bat. Okay, thank you. That's all the information you need. Strike two. Good work. There. Disneyland. That was just slightly inside. He's gone for it. Furious. Doesn't get there. But he could score off this, but won't. Playing it safe. They now have, uh, they have the full stack now. And it's Dick Frisbee who's up next, who's had uh, two runs today. Uh, two, uh, two hits today. And, uh, and three runs batted in. Disneyland now. Digging very deep. Uh, he's, he's got oh, digging too deep. We've uh, we've awoken an ancient evil. Yep, come on, that's it. Good job, right? Good, nice quality defensive play ish there to uh, to save us from ourselves. Here's Furious again. King Providence is off. Bye. Barely knew you. Uh, Hans Zanadu's coming on instead. Uh, whatever. And uh, <laughs> furious there with the with the gentlest of taps, uh, they got him out. Well, here's Papal. <clears throat> Home run for him last time. Another one now wouldn't go amiss, but you know that's too much to hope for. Strike one. Ball one. Yeah, yeah, definitely was. Ball two. Yeah, it was. Yeah, that was that was a ball. Ugh. Strike two. Stop throwing throwing those. I can't judge them well. Oh no! All right. Well, Papal's going to get out, and and does good. Right. Come on, Kojak. Quiet day for Kojak so far. Had a walk and a single so far, but nothing else. I mean, uh, if you were able to just murder the pitcher, that would do. Frankly, I'll take a loss if we can take out a pitcher or two. Uh, ball two, strike one now. Come on, Kojak. Ah, oh, okay. All right, get a base hit. Ah, it'll do, I suppose. That doesn't do your stats any harm either, so, you know, you carry on. Uh, that brings up Ulysses' failure. Two singles for him today, batting 500 in the afternoon. Uh, we'll just have to see how he's, uh, how he's equipped for the pressure of bottom of the eighth inning. Two outs, one runner. Ball one. Okay. Strike one. No, he's, uh, he's, he's not feeling it. They are desperate to try and get Kojak there. But she's only on first. We're not going to try and steal second. Yep, still only on first. Seriously, look at my season stats. How many steals have I actually attempted? Nay, made. It's good enough. Bingo has Matt there making the return. Bingo's moved over to left field, which is where he usually plays. Uh, failure there putting up a, a two-baser. And unfortunately, it's Cindy Vapid up next. Uh, I now retract everything on nice I said about her in the last inning. <clears throat> we are in scoring position. Strike one. Ball one. Cindy Vapid. It's not going to be good enough. Cindy's out and, uh, and another scoring opportunity blown. Like so many fuses. Here's Valerie Hammock. Uh, has had a double. Ninth inning now. Alright, okay. And that one was anticipated and it's gone the distance. And that is not what you want to see in the slightest. Uh, Valerie there putting in a home run and, uh, and giving her team the lead. Fortunately, she was, uh, she's the only person there. Uh, so it's only one run. But that, that was a bit of a statement play, that one. It was quite, she anticipated the pitch and hit it a long way. 
And that's what they call a home run. Yeah, when it goes over the fence like that, it's a home run. Because it basically means I would rather run all the way back to my house to fetch a fetch fresh baseball than go and try and find where that one went. Hey, a strikeout for Mark Disneyland. Ingrid Matrix there. Going, wait, what? Hmm? Uh, is this going to be a sub? It's not. They are keeping in rotoscope the pitcher. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Yeah. No, that's fine. That one, that one missed. Yeah, he, he didn't even swing at that one. Uh, he's uh, he's he's copping a squat as he uh, as he goes. What, what are you doing, Dizzy? Look, this is the easiest flipping opponent you're going to have in this inning. How about you just dispatch him using relatively sensible stuff and don't try and be too clever? All right, okay. You say he's the easiest. Yeah, I know we got him first. Yeah, I've, uh, I've done. We've we've obviously you know obviously pitchers you know man. Oh, centre fielder hands Zanadu up next. He's a total shambles at the moment. Um, they, I don't know why they brought him on. I'll be honest. I didn't think who they had in there before was uh, was that terrible. No, I, I couldn't. I couldn't begin to explain why. But uh, but there it is. All right. Okay. Go on. And that one's got a Kojak. Who will throw to second? Who will throw to first? Doesn't quite get both, but gets one, and that'll do. <clears throat> Taking the advanced runner there. Smart move. Here's uh, Bingo, Hazmat, Hazmats. Strike one. Okay, good. Right. Come on. Let's go. That's ball one. Uh, that's, that's not as good. No. Come on, Disneyland. Ball two. Too high. All right. Okay. Fling one of those in. They're always good. All right. Good. All right. Okay. Strike two. Ball two. Uh, slide it. Yeah. Okay. Slide it all the way out. We could try it. Uh, make it look like it's going there, and then put it over here. Hey, Macarena! Alright, good times. Right, we're down by one. Coming up it at bat is Mori Crampons Disneyland, who will be substituted. Alright, we need one to remain in the game. Bottom of the ninth inning, Steve Mori. He's had a decent day so far, but he'll be out here, I imagine. You wouldn't have gotten a better pitch than that, Steve. What about that one? Well, that one's, that one's a foul, so you're okay. All right. Two strikes, though. Yeah. Ball one, Steve Murray. Ah, there you go. He's out. Oh, well, we knew he would be. This is where uh, this is where good players choke here in the ninth. Here's, uh, here's uh, Bernie Crampons. Come on, Bernie. You can do it. Bernie, Bernie, and so forth. Uh, ball two. Yeah. Right. And... Oh, he swung at that one too early. That would have been lovely. Never mind. Ball three. Bernie crampons. And there it is. It's what we were hoping for. A Bernie crampons home run. Tying it all up. Now this puts Bulldozer Power in a position. I don't believe he did that. That's brilliant. Um, yeah. Puts Bulldozer Power in a position uh, to, uh, to win this and go home. And uh, in that position is Mark, substituted Disneyland. Uh, what do you think? Bring on a hammock, sister? It's poetic. All right. We're in. Okay. It's good. Here she is, Veronica Hammock, the senior of the hammock sisters, uh, of which there are more than you expect. Strike one. Okay. That's ball two. All right. Okay. Ball three. Veronica, not biting at anything obvious. Bites at that, is going to get out unless she can put her foot down. She can't. She's out. All right, nothing poetic going on there, which leaves Zoltan Zoltan as our last opportunity to uh, uh, to put this one away. Otherwise, we're going to additional innings. All right, ball two. Come on, Zoltan. All right, Zoltan's done enough to get on base. All right, okay, good. Right, well, we're coming round to our serious hitters now, but... They're only as serious as they need to be, as we have Jeff in the room. Jeff, what's occurring? After a momentary Jeff interruption there, we've somehow got to pick up our ability to play this game. And uh, it's furious now. Well, two outs. He likes it, but it's no good. He's, he's not done it. We're going to overtime. And uh, Veronica Hammock, well, we're going to bring on the... Uh, are we? No, I'm going to bring our cattle prod. All right. 
the prod is making an appearance. Uh, let's see how we do. Right, here we go. Cattle prod. Come on. All right, that'll do. Bunny gets the catch, makes the throw, gets the out. Solid. Okay, Olivia Chucker Khan now, back to the top of the order. All right, here we go. Now, Cattle Prod is only a he's only a single inning kind of a kind of a pitcher here with his two pitches to choose from. You've got to throw one of them, and uh, you might as well throw one of them. So he does. All right, that's all right. Strike two, lovely, lovely, very good indeed. All right, where should we put that over here somewhere? Oh, checked. Okay, all right, fine. No, do it again, but uh, better. All right, uh, about there. That's good. And that's a strikeout. Oh, dearie me. And uh, Olivia Chucker Khan there, clearly unhappy about that result. Uh, here's Lemon Kevin. All right, two outs now. Uh, Cattle Prod having done ne the necessary so far. All right, that's done it. That, it all counts. Anything that is a strike during strike times counts. That one's up in the sky. Who wants it? Everybody wants it. Zoltan wants it. Bernie's got it. Okay, good. Okay, 10th inning, and uh, it's all square. One run now to, to win them all, and uh, Road Scope is leaving in favour of Kimberly Freightmaster. Okay. All right, here we go. Don't swing at that. No, don't. Don't be too anxious to win this. Just think of it as the regular game where you're trying to hit the ball as it comes in your direction, but only if it comes to the right place. And that's a walk, see? Brains, Freightmaster there, throwing a load of our rubbish. Uh, here's Kojak Mister on. All right, okay, Kojak, now. Just needs to get on base. That's all we need. We don't need anything more clever than that. Just, just get on base. I, I know we've, we've given away a lot. No, oh, no, 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 no. No, it's good though. It's gone, but we're gonna get an out because uh, Papal there didn't think it was going to go the distance. I'll be honest, neither did I. Well, that brings up failure. We're one out now, but one runner. Honestly, the number of runners doesn't matter. We only need one as long as they get in. Ah, oh, it's challenging times, everybody. Failure there. Zips one up to centre field. Good enough. All right, okay, good enough. Two runners now on base. Cindy Vapid, uh, three of five today. She's done a good day, but uh, she'll get out here. The only problem is uh, will she take someone with her? Could happen. Could very much happen. No, she, oh, she made it. And we're in scoring position. Okay, okay. Cindy Vapid there, doing what was necessary and no more. Uh, Steve Morrie now. Come on, Steve. Ball one. No. That one wasn't it. No. That one was it, Steve. Steve, that was it. That was the one. Do not get out. To be honest, don't even advance from the plate. Strike two. Steve Morrow not biting on anything here. He bit on that and he's going to get out. Oh, bum. Right. Okay. Well, we're going to uh, round 11. Okay. All right. Round 11 it is. <sighs> Uh, uh, ah, Dick Frisbee. Okay. Cattle Prod. Well, they've, they've seen everything that he has in his tank. The question is, is it going to be enough? Papal. Catch. Out. One. Good. Valerie Hammock now has a home run today. She is an exceptional player and, uh, and a credit to the Hammock family. In fact, she's so good, I would say that maybe we've got the Roman Hammock sister on the team. Uh, I have not seen a player as good. There we go. Yes. Oh, he's, he's right to claim it. Strike out there, out number two. And that brings up Ingrid Matrix. Okay. Come on, Oscar. Let's get it done. All right. That one was beefy. In fact, that's, that's good enough for two bases, that one. That's less than ideal. Uh, Zoltan will throw it back, and for once he's on target. Very good. No, Zoltan's throwing has not been what one might describe as all that so far today. Uh, it's Kimberly Freightmaster, the pitcher. Are they going to sit her? They're not. Two outs. And, I mean, okay, she's actually got reasonably good 
um, batting characteristics. But, you know, with the game on the line in this fashion and with a, with a runner on second, you would think you would bring in a hitter. That one's gone wild. All right, come on, Oscar. Get it done. Get it done. Get it done. That's where I want it. There it is. Another strike out for Cattle Prod there, and that's, uh, that's job done. Okay, well, here we are again. It's Bernie Crampons. Uh, he's the only reason that we are in extra innings at all. Uh, having uh, brought us all square, he's he's gone for it too early on that one, though. He's going to get caught. Oh, Bernard. Well, yes, there it is. Here's Cattle Prod. We're taking him. Uh, he's he's, done, he's done, done some great pitching, but I've still got a conservative on the bench, so it's all good. Uh, who do we want in? Uh, what do we want? Well, I think I think we go Mephisto. Uh, yeah, I think we go Mephisto. All right, Lynn Mephisto. Good enough. See, I mean, you go McGurk if you want it over the fence. Mephisto's going for two, though. It's going to be close, but not that close. All right, good. Well, back to Zoltan again. Zoltan starting to look a little bit weary. I mean, I don't know why. In the and uh, uh, Lim Mephisto's injured. Oh, no! Zoltan, you clown! Uh, can I can I make a substitution? Can I put a designated runner in for Lim Mephisto? Is that a thing you can do? Let's have a look. Uh, Mephisto is on base because she's, uh, she's done her Achilles. Uh, yeah, let's put... Uh, I don't know, who's fast? Yeah, don't like any of them particularly. Brenda Ferrite, we want to save in case we need another hit. A big rod's a hitter, he's not a runner. Uh, I think it's got to be... It's got to be Julius Hardware. All right. Now base running, number 42. Excellent work. Doing what we pay him for. His bingo has man. Used to play for Bulldozer Power and is an excellent player. Uh, certainly. Uh, certainly got a hit earlier on today. Let's uh, let's bring the tempo back up again. Uh, ball one. Strike one. Now. Okay, Jeff. Come on, Jeffrey. Jeff, Jeff, Jeff. Big Jeff. Strike two. Excellent. Good. Now, just put a burner right in there. Lovely. Well, if they put the burner right in there, but um, it's been, that's been uh, fouled out. Which is a shame, because that's about as accurate a pitch as I've, I've made all day. That's more stuff, I like it. That's ball two. Really? Do another one. Usually they sink straight through the danger zone. Zoltan, can he get to it? Oh, not quite, but it wasn't from a lack of effort. That was a very good effort, but it didn't work. All right, one out, one runner. Here's one but Okay, all right. Well, I've used up more pitches than we would have liked there to uh, to dispatch to, uh, to well to get two batters through the uh, uh, through the, the the hitting bowl uh, so far. What's going on here, Jeff? Why are you trying to be clever? Just throw in the regular pitches, man. There you go. There's strike one. That's good. More like that, please, but not exactly like that. Although it might it might get a bit predictable. There's that's uh, strike two. Jeffrey. There you go. Out number two. Second strikeout for the Conservative. Lovely job. He's pleased. I'm pleased. We're all pleased. It's very pleasing. Uh, and uh, we're around to Chaka Khan, which means that whoever it was I said was Chaka Khan previously wasn't. Strike one. Lovely. All right. Jeffrey. And. Okay. That's nothing doing there, but that uh, counts as strike two because it is. That's not a good pitch. But it's up in the sky. Steve's uh, underneath it. Stay underneath it, Steve. Good lad. All right. Three outs. Score still tied. 
and uh, we're uh, we're going into uh, next at bat is uh, is Papal. Yeah, this is the twelfth inning, incidentally. Papal have entered Horizon. Good enough. Excellent. Runs up to first base. Says hello, first base. It's been a while. Uh, here's Kojak Nesteron. He's not having a great day. That's not even me. Do I see? Look, look. That's, a, that's not me trying to counter jinx anything. That's Papal Event Horizon genuinely not having a good day. No, sorry, beg your pardon. Ko Kojak Nesteron not having a good day. And because I wasn't thinking about it, we got out. Oh, God, I've got to defend again. Yeah, you've got to defend again. Here's Lemon Kevin with his ankle brace. It's to hide, of course, that he's got a uh, uh, an asbo at the moment, so uh, he's only allowed on the field if he's got his tag attached. Uh, you don't want to know what it's for. All right, okay, good. There we are. But uh, obviously, different rules apply to professional sporting folk. Well, Jeff Conservative, his uh, his stamina is uh, is already on the wane, and that's not a good sign. Um, yeah, because I ain't got a lot of pitchers left, and I need him to bat as well, because I haven't got a lot of batters left either. I haven't got a lot of anything left, I'll be honest. Uh, this is going to come down to a war of attrition, and uh, and after this war of attrition, we may even struggle to find people who are fit enough to play next week. All right, that's good. Yeah, that's gone foul. Come on, Jeff, finish him. Jeff Conservative. How's that? All right, good. Two outs now. Uh, Valerie Hammer up next. Has had a home run today and a double and batted in a run. Um, she is uh, sublime. Uh, she's the definition of Hall of Fame incarnate. And uh, woe betide. Anybody who takes her batting abilities lightly, uh, she will scorched earth your defensive scheme in no time at all. Come on, failure. Come on, son. Come on. Excellent. Okay, well, we're still playing. Yeah, we're not there yet. Here's Cindy Vapid. There's a name you haven't heard in a while since the last time she batted. What are you doing? Just leave it. If, decide to swing or don't, but... You know, decide. Don't decide late, because uh, the train's already left the platform. Anyway, Cindy gets on base. <laughs> she's, she's playing all right. She's doing okay. Uh, Steve Murray. Lots of pressure on Steve. His fitness isn't 100%. Uh, I might explain why he keeps getting run out to first, I suppose. Um, and that's ball one. Okay. How many pitches off Freightmaster? 27. Okay. There's ball two. Yeah. You like the look of that one, but it's gone just over the foul line. All right. Ball two, strike one. Oh! Hey! Easy with that rubbish. And Steve gets a walk. Well, it doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter who gets a walk. The thing is, it does advance the players, and that's the bit that matters. It's Bernie Crampons again. Last time he, he had a go at the first one, and it was not a good idea to do so, so he's left that one alone. The fact that it was blatantly um, not going to be uh, hittable, neither neither here nor there. Strike one, allegedly. All right, come on, Bernie. He's had a go for that. No, that's no good. Strike two. Yeah. Ball two. Bernie hanging in there. Ball three. He's still around. He's had a go for that. It's just slightly beyond the range of the uh, initial stop, but that gives us a scoring opportunity. Jeff, sit down. Yeah, no, sorry, it's got to be done. If we're going to if we're going to do this, now's the time. Uh, Brenda Ferrite is going to come in and hit. She's got a slightly better contact rating uh, than Big Rod McGurk. Uh, all we need is a base hit. It's not good. It is not good. No. All right. Back round the Zoltan. And again, we're uh, we're in score. This is brilliant. Uh, we're in scoring position. I mean, to be honest, you know, the, the old nerves are up. And, uh, yeah, come on. 13th inning. Zoltan, Zoltan. Ball three now. Two outs. Strike one. Zoltan, not in a hurry. 
Zoltan gets a walk. Bases are loaded. Furious is up. He's not played brilliantly today. Two of seven. Okay, here we go. That might have been it, but I don't think it was it. All right, ball one, strike one. Car Furious. Is that a go for that? It's high, but it's not long enough. It's going to be out. Oh, no. Yeah, still playing baseball. Okay, right. Tulip, i got some news for you. What? You are our last pitcher. All the others are starters, and they will play badly. All right. Well, it's seven play seven here at the top of the 14th oh, inning. I thought this morning, guys, oh, it's fine. I've, I've got plenty of time to uh, to record the baseball, get it edited and get it up all in one day. Because normally, you see, I do this on a different day. Um, yeah, I, I, I record it on a Friday, edit it on a Saturday, and it's all ready and waiting for you there on Sunday. Uh, I thought, no, no, it's okay. I'll take a couple of hours just to uh, get it all sorted out on Sunday morning. It'll be fine. I've got nothing else on. But clearly... Clearly, that was uh, that was a mistake. Kimberly Freightmaster is batting. This, I assume, means that they too are going. We've got any pitchers left. Uh, we've used got we've used a few of them, boss. Uh, all right. Well, you better keep Kim in for as long as we need to then. All right. That's gone foul. Come on, Tulip. Let's go. Broken back. Come on, Steve. Come on, Steve. Come on, Steve. Come on, Steve. Get the catch. There we go. Out number two. Good. Excellent. His hand Xanadu. His contact is uh, is rated as terrible. Uh, but he is incredibly fast. He is the fastest player on the team by a long way. Of course, for that to mean anything, he actually has to get on base in the first place. Strike two. All right. Come on. Let's go. And there it is. Strike out there for Chilip Banta. And that's the side retired. Well, let's, let's try to score a run, shall we? That would be a novelty. Come on, Papal. Just... Bang it over the fence, son, and let's go home. Come on. Papal Event Horizon. Let's do it. Ball one. All right. Strike one. Could have gone for that, you know. She likes putting it there. Yeah. There's ball two. There's ball three. Come on, Papal. Nope. Foul. All right. Full count. And Papal gets another walk. Well, Freightmaster is starting to get tired, and to be honest, she wasn't that great to begin with. Here's Kojak again. Oh, they're making a sub now. Uh, Hilda Showbiz coming in to do some more pitching. They are burning through all their pitches. To be honest, I've already burned through all of mine, so what's taking them so long? Uh, right, here we go. Kojak. No. She's, uh, she's just hammering it down that line. Too low. Kojak not, uh, not easily fooled. Too high. And sort of inside-ish. Ball two. That one was definitely inside. Not There's no ish about it. And that's another walk. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, well, look, I'll walk all the way round to uh, to get a run, if you like. Uh, so runner's now one and two. And the uh, the risk that comes with that is, uh, is getting two players out at once. Which is something we're great at. Um, anyways, failure at bat. Back from injury. Opportunity for heroics. Okay, good. That was failure there, getting out. Anyway, speaking of getting two players out at once, here's Cindy Vapid. Oh dear. Yeah, you've got some insurance against it when you've got no outs, but now it's the end of the chuffing inning if she does it here. No, oh, that's two, two strikes now. That's ball two. Okay, come on, Cindy. Just get a base hit. Oh, oh, very nearly a headshot, but wasn't. I don't think we'd have made it home. I don't think we would have. All right, okay. We need one more hit. One hit from Steve Morrie. Please, Steve. It can even be a sacrifice hit there, Steve. It can. But it's not. There we go. That's done it. Steve Morrie wins the game. Hooray, everybody. Keep running. You might as well. All right, don't. don't. Well, that one took a while. 
And uh, and I'll be honest with you, I don't think we necessarily deserved it. We got the hits, but errors are plenty. Opportunities wasted left, right, and centre, and everywhere else for that matter. Um, but that was a uh, an epic game. Uh, how many? Uh, three, seven, seven substitutions uh, for the Kerbal Space Program, and uh, six substitutions for Bulldozer Power. Both sides going through their lineup quite significantly. Uh, Tulip Banter with a win, Freightmaster with a loss. Uh, uh, strikeouts for everybody. Just pass them around like candy. Uh, your three stars, Papal Event Horizon. Really? Steve Morrie and Cindy Vapid. <laughs> Cindy Vapid in the three stars. Yeah. Die, yeah. Okay, an absolute ton of games to simulate here. Let's uh, let's go through them. Because uh, this, this uh, is an episode that shows no signs of finishing anytime soon. Uh, first up, it's Stardozer HR against the Bumps and Medics. And, uh, well, here we go. Uh, Stardozer off to an early lead, but the Medics take that one. Uh, next up, you've got the Beekeepers against the Steganauts. Steganauts, only two wins for them so far this season. And the Beekeepers off to a big lead. Well, that's four runs. It's not that big, is it? They still won, though. Uh, and uh, next, you have the Nomads versus Failurewood Hills, both teams three and four. Chirp Scott against Harcourt Brandley. No, 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 no. See, this is this is a problem with franchise mode, you know. Yeah, they've changed out the flipping player lineups. They've all been making you know purchases and so forth. Should have done just regular season mode where the teams are locked. Well, it's too late for that now. You, you're invested. Yeah, I know. I know. I'll figure something out. Uh, anyway, the Nomads have started with the point and it ended up with them not winning. Good. Excellent commentary. Incisive. Concise. Uh, Cheerio Inc. versus the Miggins Pirates. And uh, the Pirates uh, with a one-run one lead out of that. It just goes too fast for me to be able to say anything. Uh, the Pirates win. Uh, Fun Bus versus Ball Grazer Ridge. And uh, Ball Grazer Ridge going out to the lead into the lead. Sunshine trying to come back. Almost pulling it off but didn't. Uh, next up, you've got the Peninsula Transport team versus Colonel School. And, uh, well, let's have a look. Uh, Peninsula Transport uh, making their way out to a 5-2 victory. And uh, what, what does that do for them? Gives them their third win of the season. Oh, that's nice. That's uh, it's good for them. Uh, FC Failure Grad now against the Colonel Space Agency. Second appearance for KSA uh, today. Professor Feet, I'm doing the pitching for him. See, he's a real player. Yeah, he's not pretend. He's a real one. Uh, failure grad get a run, but uh, the Space Agency come away with a win to keep them on top of the Bombastic Division with a three-game lead. Very nice. Uh, Failurewood against the Minstrels. Next. Uh, okay, well, uh, Failurewood had a big first inning, but the Minstrels managed to claw their way back into that one to take them to six wins for the season. Uh, next up is the Bumps and Medics against Colonel Score. Bumps and Medics 7-1. and one. For the year, Colonel School only four and four. The medics obviously doing well, but Colonel School come up with the you know, oh yeah, oh, oh, it's because I said that they were doing well, obviously. Next, you've got the beekeepers against Stardozer Human Resources, and uh, well, this is uh, this is a game for the ages. This one, and uh, the beekeepers win it seven to five, and that brings up Ball Grazer Ridge against the Nomads. Okay, JoJo Football uh, pitching for Ball Grazer Ridge. Okay, all right. Uh, nomads, however, all one-way traffic, five to nothing. The final score there, and uh, that brings uh, Failograd and Steganauts next up to play. Both teams two and six for the season. Neither neither team looking capable of making it to postseason. The Steganauts managing to uh, scrape a win there uh, with Stegolus getting himself a, a, a two-base hit RBI. Very good, and that will take us to our next game, which will be the Sunshine Fun, fun Bus. Uh, against Bulldozer Power, Neil Murph, the pitcher for the fun bus, Ethan Hogwash, Barry Science, and Phantom of Fanta are the players to watch out for on the Sunshine team. Uh, shall we do the standings? Let's do the standings. Yeah, I'm into it. So the Beekeepers and Medics 7 and 2 each. We could tie them up quite easily with a win next week. Uh, 6 and 2, the current Bulldozer Power record. Uh, the Minstrels, 6 and 3, is where we could drop to although we'll be ahead on run difference. Over in the Bombastic Division, it's the Colonel Space Agency leading the way, ahead of Colonel School, and then Cheerio Inc., I guess you could say, is uh, is eligible there, but they're not. No, no. A, a, a very significant lead for the KSA in the Bombastic, so, I mean, they might already have this one in the bag. 
If you want to see what is and is not in the bag, come back next week where there'll be the next game. I've been Colonel Failure. Thank you very much for watching. Cheerio. Yeah, to say that the editing process on this one was annoying, uh, it's it, just... Anyway, uh, yeah, uh, uh, problematico technical. Uh, the good news is didn't get in the way of any of the, the properly crucial commentary in there, uh, but even so, one is displeased. If you don't spot these things, though, that's that's how you end up with desynchronizations. Uh, no, when your audio software decides, oh, you, you don't need the next 45 seconds of commentary, but I'll pick it up immediately afterwards and make it look in the waveform like nothing is wrong. Cheers. Yeah, yeah, keeping me on my toes. Yeah, it makes this take three hours to edit instead of just one. You peasant. Anyway, what a good game. Wasn't it a good game? I, mean, I almost threw that away so many times, but I didn't. And uh, and that's a good thing. Anyway, there you go. I'll be back next week where I'm sure it'll be just as strenuous and, uh, and doubtless just as something or other. Anyway, thanks for watching. Cheerio. Mm.